There's a community of uniquely skilled designers committed to finding the most unexpected ways to take tape, glue, thread, and rolls and rolls of something most of us take for granted and create the unthinkable, beautiful wedding dresses made out of toilet paper. There's like a family of crazy crafters. <laughs> Thousands of amateur designers worked from home for months. It's like five days before the due date and I'm in this mess of stuff. Each shipped their delicate dresses to be judged. All right, bye. I'm Susan Brennan, 33 years old, and I'm a yoga instructor. I teach many forms of yoga. The loudest, craziest one is goat yoga. They just bring so much joy. They're a therapy animal, and they help keep you present. You should totally come to goat yoga. I have entered the toilet paper wedding dress contest eight times now. I have won it three times. This year, I decided to make, I call it confetti fabric. Press, press, press. I had some tape, and then I was sticking the toilet paper to it. Until eventually, you make fabric. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> you know when the ride is coming. <laughs> Let's roll her out. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> God. The biker jacket. Wifey. Get it, wifey. And did you actually make the sunglasses too? You yes, just, I made those. There's a pocket. A wedding dress with a pocket. Yes. And then I made a sweet moto jacket. What Do you want to see it? Yeah. OK. Oh my god, it's soft. Look, let's do this. Did you just wake up in the middle of the night and we're like, <gasps> I have another idea. <laughs> I didn't go to sleep. <laughs> My name is Ronaldo Duran Cruz, and I am the grand winner 2018. I am a florist for a living. I help customers pick flowers for their loved ones. I was born and raised in the Philippines. I'm gonna teach you Filipino dance. This year, my inspiration is the Filipino women. I'm doing this to show my talent and because I love working, I love art, I love culture. I just want to make people be amazed how, how I did this. You are the one to beat, huh? I know, defending champion, and I'm nervous, and oh my god. I Is it just too much pressure? Yes. All yeah. right, well, let's see the main event. Come on out. <laughs> Out. The veil, the bow, the umbrella, the, the headpiece, the, the bodice, sleeves. the sleeves. There's a lot of details. There's a lot of beads, flowers on it. A lot of twisting, cutting, what you call this, gluing. I use 30,120 sheets of tissue. I spent 547 hours. Crazy, crazy. Nice. My dress looks pretty bad. It's so wrinkly. You can't unwrinkle toilet paper. I'm not a magician. I don't think I can fix it. it. Took a year to make. I feel like I had to start over. I mean, that's how bad it is. Oh. Oh no, Gail's not happy. I'm Gail. My uh. Ah. My name is Gail Mathis. I'm. Oh well, yeah. I told you this was way out of my out of my comfort zone. <laughs> My name is Gail Mathis. I'm 63 years old. I'm from Missouri. I care give to my granddaughter during the days. And in the evenings, I work at a bridal alteration shop. I've made six wedding gowns in my life. Two of them belong to my daughters. I love nature. I love trees. Trees is, is my number one thing. I like to touch them. I like to talk to them. I feel connected to them. So the dress that I made, it's a uh, a fantasy theme, she's, she's a woodland fairy. Turned out to be the hardest thing I've ever done. It's a very high accomplishment just to be here. I've never been to New York City. Do you know who judges? No. I was told who they are, but I don't know who they are. I don't watch television. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I know your television. <laughs> I don't own one. <laughs> Our newbie bird, fresh out of the nest. <laughs> We 
Wait, there's a bunny in the back. <laughs> I mean, wow. you've really you, taken our breath away on that one. Thank you.